What's up, bros? Welcome to another BroGraph motion graphics tutorial. I am Matt Milstead, and today we are going to be having some fun. Let's take a look at what we are going to be doing. We are going to be recreating a realistic, awesome BroCola. That's a little pixelated. Uh, but yeah, that's what we will be doing today, and uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Cinema. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we need a reference. So uh, we're going to go ahead and make a plane so that we can then take an image that you either find off the internet or wherever. I just did a quick Google search for uh, a cola bottle. Apparently that's a song. And just grabbed any one of these references. Uh, some of the, the big... Uh, uh, Mexican Coca-Cola actually works really well because it's a big tall bottle versus the uh, the tiny one. So let's uh, go ahead and load that image. That's the small one. Here we go, the Mexican Coke. Uh, and let's go ahead and open that. Uh, do I want to create that? No, not at this moment. So right here we've got 825, 24, 21. So let's go ahead and make our plane that same size, 825, 24, 21. 825, 24, 21, I believe. Then let's go ahead and throw that on, and then let's get rid of the specular so that we don't have any uh, unwanted lights. Now if we go to our top view, <clears throat> and then we go to our display, and we can see all the lines, now you can see this. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a whole bunch of circles and we're basically going to loft the entire thing to create the shape of the bottle. Now this bottle is kind of at an angle so you won't be able to get it 100% accurate as for using this particular image but it, it'll, look, it'll look good enough. You'll be able to sell it. So let's go ahead and start with a circle and let's go ahead and rotate this circle 90 degrees and then we are going to start this as our first one and move it up here. Now the yellow lines, as you can see, are where it's going to end. And we're just going to uh, click on the Move tool, which is E, uh, and then hit Command, and you can duplicate it. Let's go ahead and make those both a little bit smaller. To about right there okay cool now the next one and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep on going down and hitting T for transform and uh, keep on duplicating it until we've got the general shape of this bottle now a couple of these are very important as far as where we put them and you'll notice once we get to the bottom that um, it'll start getting a little off-center and that's because the, uh, the, the bottle was shot at an angle, was pictured at an angle. So one very important one is right about here. And um, you can, the reason why is because uh, that's the level of the cola. And that'll actually be very important for us later. So as we keep going down, kind of split the difference there. And you can kind of see that this is already getting off center there. That's okay. We can fix that at the end. Or once we've finished our initial shape. So keep on going back. Get there. Move down a little bit. That. And then E. Do, do, do. Move that down a little bit. E. That out. Get that little lip. I know this is really exciting watching me do that. If you want, you can skip ahead. But this is basically all we're doing is we're just outlining this initial bottle. Right here, right where it's at its lower peak. Then we'll go up here to its upper peak. Actually, you know what, let's go back here and put one in between. And then right about here you can see there's that circle. Well, because it's shot at an angle, we're just going to have to 
uh, guess and probably go about to like maybe right here and we're not going to want to make it that big just kind of however big that you think the uh, the radius of the bottom of the bottle is and you can do this with just about any bottle now you see here we've got a whole bunch that are outside of it so what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of our circles move them over a little bit and then uh, click on our transform and object access we're going to do per object manipulation and just bring them all down a little bit then that should match up pretty well uh, pretty close okay so now that we've got the initial shape of the bottle what we're gonna do is we are going to unclick per object manipulation and then we are going to rotate the entire thing 90 degrees and then turn off our plane so you can see that now if we go ahead and loft this right now you can see what the shape looks like do, do, do. just drop these all into the loft and basically what the loft does is it goes from one circle to the next circle to the next circle to the next circle and basically creates one gigantic polygon now a bottle is not it, it isn't normally closed off so one quick way to do that I'm sure there's quicker ways but actually let's go ahead and do this now that we're at the bottom um, let's make this a little bit rounded more rounded rounder round 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 rounder you need to make sure that's in the right one so do that there we go and let's do that right there that should be good that'll work okay so uh, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to create a little bit of thickness to this um, and one way of doing that is to take all of our uh, all of our circles and duplicate them above the other one but the thing with that is we need to make sure that they're in the right place and that they're actually backwards. So we're gonna grab all these, bring them down here, and then we are going to just reverse here in order to give it a little bit of thickness. 42, and you can see right there that it's already starting with the top. So let's go ahead and just do this. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now you could uh, make this into, uh, I believe, you could uh, turn the whole thing into an editable polygon and then uh, do like an explode. Uh, but I, I like being able to have the, uh, the ability to continue to manipulate my uh, geometry if need be so you'll see once we get this last one in place and it doesn't take that long maybe just a, a couple extra minutes you can see it goes all the way down to the bottom now one that we don't need is this one down at the very very bottom I believe we don't need that very bottom one and we probably don't need that one either uh, actually we do go back and then but we're gonna bring it up a little bit okay now with this one all the way to this one the inner part we are going to do the same thing we did before per object manipulation um, and we're actually going to bring uh, the size of them down a little bit and you can see that that'll add thickness to your bottle so that looks that looks pretty good about the size yeah all right so now you've got your bottle whoops you've got your bottle with the uh, initial thickness and stuff so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on my plane uh, group that into a null by hitting uh, alt G and then I'm gonna call this ref I like creating a reference folder in case I ever need to go back to it so now let's go ahead and duplicate this twice whoops Ooh, there we go and I'm gonna call this one bottle I'm gonna call this one cola 
and I'm going to call this one condensation. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Let's call it Coke Bottle 3. As you can see, I've done this a couple of times. All right. So uh, with our cola, let's go ahead and move this one over. With our condensation, let's go ahead and move this one over so that we can see it. Now, the cola, what we're going to do is we are actually going to delete some at the top. Actually, we're going to do more than that. We're going to delete all the ones on the outside so that we have this thinner area. And then starting from the top, we're going to delete it down all the way to, remember that one place where I said this is where the cola is? And that should be good right about there. So this is going to be our cola, this is going to be our bottle, and then we're going to use this as a reference for our condensation. All right. So let's go ahead and start with that. Then uh, let's put uh, some texture on the, uh, the cola bottle. So uh, we're going to need color, we're going to need reflection, uh, specular, and transparency. So the transparency, uh, we'll start off with that. Uh, the Fresnel reflectivity, that's fine. Refraction for glass, if you do just a quick Google search, the refractive index for glass, uh, we'll say typical crown glass, 1.52, we'll just do 1.5, as you can see it right there. And then uh, color will leave the same, reflection, let's make that about, Let's see what happens if we go down to 50. Yeah, we'll leave it there. And then specular, we want this super high and super thin. So let's go ahead and add that to our glass. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if we render it, but yeah, you can kind of see some of the reflectivity and such. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a stage. Um, now, this stage is in my content browser. It's the Light Kit Infinite Free. Uh, shout out to motionsquared.net. Uh, they were the ones who gave away this free Cinema 4D Light Kit. Uh, you can check them out, motionsquared.net, and you can uh, pick up this free Light Kit that we're going to use for this tutorial. Uh, so, super thanks to those guys. Uh, they had posted it on Reddit. They, they were giving this away, so I figured I'd let all you guys know, too. Good guys over there. Um, so we're going to use theirs, and we are going to use the stage, and we're going to use our classic one. So, classic stage, and we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger. As you can see, we're apparently working in a gigantic scale. So, move that down. Move that down. Boom. All right. And then we need to make this wider that way. And then we're actually going to go up to our settings. And uh, I should have done this at the beginning, but actually turn on all the correct things. So we're going to want global illumination. We're going to want best anti-aliasing. And then our output, we're going to want HDTV 2997. And then you can see here, do a quick render. And it does nothing because we have no lights. Duh. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create a sky. Go back into our content browser. Uh, and then under presets, we're going to search HDRI. Oh, that actually worked this time. And drag that down. And then we're going to drag that onto our sky. Now, with this HDRI, um, we don't want it the, the, the same way that it actually is. So we're going to go in and actually uh, add a layer so that we can manipulate this image and uh, add an effect, hue, saturation, and lightness. And we're going to bring down the saturation so that it's not as orange. And we're going to see if we can kind of change that hue to a little bit of a blue so that we can uh, uh, get just a little bit of blue color. So when I think of water and I think of ice and I think of cold, I think of blue. So uh, let's go ahead and render that and let's see how that looks. All right, that glass is looking pretty good. I like that. That's looking very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the texture for our uh, cola. So we're going to start a new material. 
we're gonna need uh, reflectivity and we're gonna need transparency okay so our color uh, we're gonna want to make this uh, kind of a reddish color uh, so let's do 120, 17, 9. All right, and then our transparency, um, our refraction. Now, soda, if I could get back to my Safari. Soda, it's not quite water. Uh, it's actually uh, around 1.4, I believe, because that's uh, it's like sugar water. Uh, so let's go ahead and do 1.4 and then uh, under the absorption color we're gonna make it that same red color now what absorption color is uh, has been explained to me is uh, like if you were looking into an ocean you could see that the deeper it gets the darker it gets so basically the absorption color is the color that it's absorbing and uh, uh, making darker the absorption distance is how how far before it gets super dark so uh, this distance I'm gonna need to mess with that a little bit we'll start with 100 and see how far we get now specular let's go ahead and do the same with this let's make it high and thin and then reflectivity let's go ahead and do 50 again so we'll throw that onto our soda and let's see how that looks Okay, as you can kind of see here, I actually think that absorption distance at a uh, 100 is pretty good. Uh, that looks that looks pretty good right there. So uh, let's go ahead and move the cola into our bottle. Now, one way of doing that, let's click on our cola. And uh, a cool thing with uh, Cinema R15 that I really like is uh, I don't know if it was on 14 or not, but if you hit Shift C and you you can type in your command. Uh, so we're going to want transfer because basically we're going to want to transfer this location to this location. So that is now inside there and you can see as if, if we render it. The cola looks terrible. So I think that's because um, it is actually intersecting the inside of the bottle now what we're going to do in order to remedy that is we're actually going to make the bottle a little or the cola inside a little bit smaller so once again uh go to the transform per object manipulation and then ever so slightly we're going to bring it down and make it smaller so let's see how that looks That looks pretty good. All right. So, uh, you know what? Before we get into the condensation, let's go ahead and make the label. So the uh, we're going to duplicate this one more time, the bottle. And what we're going to want to do is we're actually only going to want to grab the area within here. So let's go ahead and work our way up. I believe that's it. OK, so 12 all the way to 10. And delete that and then we're going to delete all the way down to here because we don't need any thickness on it so if I hide all these you can see right there we've got that whoop, 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 there we go and then uh, actually we do need some thickness I apologize so let's go ahead and make those backwards and then these it's not much thickness that we need uh, per object manipulation then we're gonna make it probably about that just the tiniest bit just a little bit Jeez, my, my mouse is not working for me today alright so we'll do that then we'll call this label and then let's make a new material for our label uh, label we're going to need Reflectivity, specular, and I think that's about it. So under our color, so let's start with our reflectivity. We're probably going to want it to be, we'll say 25. Uh, color, we're going to want that uh, the stripey look. So under surfaces, we're going to go into checkerboard, 
and uh, you'd be surprised how often you could use a checkerboard. So we've got the white, and then we also need like a red. So you know what, let's use the same red that we used before. 17 and nine. All right, and let's go ahead and throw this on the label. Offset the vertical to where we get red there. And let's bring that down. Offset the vertical again. Actually, I think it needs to be backwards. There we go. So that the red is in the center. Now let's change the vertical length and just kind of mess with this until we get this right there. All right. Now our reflectivity, we said about 25 specular. Hey, you know what we're going to do with that? We're going to make it high and thin. And then, oh, we also need a bump. Yeah. Under texture, we're going to go to noise so that we can just create this kind of uh, random one. And I really like turbulence. Turbulence has become one of my favorites lately. Let's see how that looks just with the base turbulence noise. All right, as you can see here, that looks pretty good. Uh, just with the, the, the basic turbulence, um, it definitely adds, um, it gives it that silk screened look. Uh, which I really like. I like that a lot. All right, so let's see. Under, uh, we're gonna do one more thing. We're actually going to create a new material because uh, we're gonna add that label on there. And under color, uh, load image. And as you can see, I created this beforehand. Um, if you guys just do a Google search, you can actually find that font really easily uh, and create your own. Um, whoops. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, then we're going to hit open, uh, no, and uh, we're going to add an alpha to this. Under alpha texture, we are going to load the exact same image so that when you see it, it'll just be that. Uh, color, we'll leave that, specular, uh, let's go ahead and copy our, copy and paste our specular attributes to this um, along with the reflectivity. So reflectivity, we did 25%. Let's go ahead and do 25 here too. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and throw that onto the label. And if I could find it, let's try cylindrical. There we go. Uh, offset, let's just do one tile or no tiles. We're going to change the size till we get it right and change the length, offset that. This is one part that can sometimes uh, take a little bit getting this entirely correct. Change the length and bring down the offset. That should be about good. You could finagle that a little bit more if you want, but you know. Uh, all right, let's see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty good. I like that right there. Um, so let's uh, let's know, go ahead and do the big thing. Let's do the condensation. Uh, let's see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start off with a sphere. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are going to use this sphere as the condensation, and we are going to put it all over using a cloner object. Uh, so let's make this sphere pretty small. That should be good. And then MoGraph Cloner, and we're going to throw the sphere into the cloner object. Now under Cloner, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, put it under Object Mode. And under the Object, we're going to click on the Condensation Bottle. So, now you can see it creates a whole bunch of them, and we don't want that. Uh, because right now it's going under the under distribution it is distributing among the vertices we don't want that we actually want it to just go along the surface so that looks more like it and it's more random um, it, 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 and un, not uniform like the other one is so we can add as many as we want uh, change the seed to something that looks good that looks pretty good right there Good old 99997. Nine, nine, Always looking out for me. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, let's change our sphere size to just a little bit smaller. And then we're going to duplicate this cloner. And we're going to make these spheres even smaller than that. Uh, on this one, let's change our to 99996. Make them even smaller. Because you've got those really big ones and then you've got the smaller ones. Now with this one, we're actually going to want quite a few of the smaller ones. All right. I think that should be good. Now with this, we are going to create a new material and this is going to be our water material. So we need reflectivity, specular, and transparency. So transparency, the uh, refractive index, once again, for water is 1.333. So we'll do 1.333. Uh, keep our color at white, reflectivity, let's go 50, see if that works. And then um, specular, hey, guess what we're doing again? All right, and then we're going to throw that onto our cloner objects. Now, we're going to hide our condensation, and we're going to change our cloner object to the bottle. Now, We'll see what happens when we render this. Come on, computer. I'm working on my laptop here, so I apologize. Let's go ahead and save that, and let's see what this looks like. All right, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, the only thing that I would do next is get rid of some of these cloner objects at the top. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, the best way to do that. So what we're going to want to do to get rid of those uh, top ones is um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these and throw them in the reference just in case we need to go back to them. But let's uh, go ahead and uh, make editable our cloner object. And then within our cloner, we're actually going to move up to the top. We are going to delete uh, the ones up here. Let's go ahead and hide all of this. And then let's see if we can select these. We don't want it to select that or our sky. Go ahead and do that. I believe that made everything good. And then down at the bottom as well. Yeah, we got a lot over here that we don't want. So let's go ahead and grab all those. And then delete those. Oh, I gotta do it again. Delete and one more time. Alright, now let's bring everything back. Hopefully I didn't screw anything up. If I did, then you'll see an edit in this video. Uh, looks that looks about right. All right, so let's get in a good position. Uh, let's hide the condensation. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's select these. We'll group them together. We're gonna call this cola bottle. We're gonna duplicate these twice. And let's move them so that we get this cool little like a group of three that just kind of hang out so we can give it kind of like a product shot type thing. All right, that looks good about where we're standing. Let's move down a little bit. Kind of go from the bottom so it's kind of like we're looking up at it. Save it and let's see what that looks like. Actually, before we do that, we don't want it to look so uniform, so let's go ahead and gra grab these cloner objects and just kind of turn them a little bit. So it doesn't look so much like the previous one. And 
and let's render that. Let's see what it looks like. And there you go. That looks pretty good. Um, once I render this out, I'd probably uh, uh, bring up the brightness a little bit. But other than that, that, that looks pretty good. Uh, a nice little three-pack of Bro Cola. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, make sure to follow us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube because we're trying to get up to 100 subscribers so that we can start doing some live uh, hangouts and chats and uh, uh, doing a live stream uh, kind of tutorial type stuff on our YouTube page. So look out for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit us up on one of our social media sites, and we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. See you next time.